Good morning. This is Leah Dixon from Port Coquitlam, British Columbia. Nice to see you all this morning. Sorry for coming on a little bit late. I am taking part in a holiday extravaganza. And so if you actually check out my Facebook page, um, there's a link there to the holiday extravaganza if you want to join us. We have lots of great vendors there. Sweet Legs, Fifth Avenue Jewelry, um, Norwex, uh, oh, Little Vicks, and their so fun apparel. So check that out and um, feel free to join me over there. I also have an ordering special happening through my holiday extravaganza if you want to check that out. Today, though, I am coming in with um, stuff here to make a card using the Whiskey Business stamp set. So I'm just going to leave a comment in the box because sometimes I find I can't see your comments until after if I don't do that. And then I'm going to pop over to my other screen so you guys can see my desk. So here we go. This is my desktop and the Whiskey Business stamp set. So it's a great, great stamp set for all sorts of occasions, Father's Day, birthdays, just to say, you know, you're awesome or straight up, you're the best. Um, great for any whiskey lovers in your life. But today I'm actually going to change it up a little bit and turn this into a Christmas card. So here we go. I'm going to get started stamping this. What I have is a crumb cake background and I've cut this one just slightly differently. I've got it cut at four and a quarter by 11 and then scored at five and a half. And that's going to create a card that kind of stands up really nicely on a mantle and isn't going to kind of slide down. Um, so that is my card base. Then I have a layer of real red that's been cut at four by five and a quarter and so that's going to layer on nicely to our crumb cake base. Then I have another layer, tons and tons of layers today, and this layer is just an eighth of an inch smaller. So if you find that four inch mark and just move down an eighth of an inch, you've got three and seven eighths. And then um, instead of five and a quarter, we've got five and one eighth for our white layer. So just creating that really tiny border is um, kind of nice. Then I have a piece here that's one and a quarter by three and seven eighths. So it's going to go onto our whisper white just like that. So that's actually the first thing I'm going to do is grab some liquid glue. I do like to use liquid glue for this because um, then I can kind of like wiggle it around and get it into the right spots. All right. So just a thin, thin layer on there all the way around. And pop on here. There we go. Just like that. So I am kind of in like the mad rush right now to create Christmas cards. Um, those of you who are regularly on my page will have seen that I posted a photo album um, of some of my Christmas cards that I have for sale. I'm currently um, selling Christmas cards and I'm also making a ton of Christmas cards for myself to send out with my students at school, to send to family, um, all my co-workers at school, and um, all my friends. So lots and lots of stamping happening in my house these days, which is good. It keeps me awake. Oh, good morning, Denise. Keeps me awake at night in front of the TV. I'll design a card, prep all the bits, and then actually assemble them when the kids want to watch movies in the evening, because otherwise I just fall asleep. It's pretty bad. All right, so now that we've got those layers put together, I'm not going to adhere this to our card front yet because I'm going to be wrapping some ribbon around this and adding some other pieces, and I want to do that first before we attach it to our card base. So from our stamp set, I am going to grab some um, Memento Black ink here and um, open that up, and I'm going to stamp the little glass from this stamp set onto a piece of scrap paper. And I'm also going to stamp the decanter. And again, using Memento black ink. And there we go. And then the last thing that I'm gonna stamp with my black is actually my sentiment. 
but I'm not stamping the whole sentiment because if you take a look at this stamp, it actually says sending you an old fashioned birthday card. And I am not creating a birthday card today. So I'm going to very carefully use my memento black ink and I'm going to ink up all of the words except for birthday. So now it's actually pretty easy to do because this sentiment has very, very straight lines. So it's actually quite easy to just stamp the words that I want. And then I'm going to come over here and stamp it in the space I have available. All right. So you're probably wondering, now it just says sending you an old fashioned card. I suppose I could leave it like that, but I'm actually going to grab another stamp. So this is from the Itty Bitty Christmas Greetings. It's actually one of my favorite Christmas stamp sets because it literally has every Christmas sentiment you could think of. Um, you know, you've got your season's greetings, your happy holidays, and then all of your very Christmassy um, sentiments. And I love from our house to yours. But today what I'm going to do is I'm taking the happy Christmas and I'm going to use a real red marker to ink up just the word Christmas. So I'm going to take like the paintbrush end and just ink up that one word. And so I'm not using the tip of that paintbrush. I'm kind of using the side of it partially to get really good coverage and partially so I don't wreck the tip of my marker. All right. Now I have stamped with this a few times. I do like to um, do a few stamps first because sometimes when you're inking up with a marker it can get kind of like a mottled look to it until you've got like a good base going on your card. Oh I know isn't this um the itty bitty Christmas is just amazing Denise. Um, so there we go so now I've got sending you an old-fashioned Christmas card okay so with that done we need to start doing some coloring. So I'm not a huge whiskey drinker, but I have a ton of whiskey drinkers in my family, so I happen to have seen it around quite a bit and know that beautiful bronze color. And so to achieve that look on our cards, I'm actually going to start with a Mango Melody Stampin' Blend. And I'm going to come in and color all the spots that I want to be quite a bit lighter. So in my glass, that's going to be where my ice cubes are. And in my decanter, that's going to be mostly the center of my liquid. Okay, so that's my Mango Melody. Um, and that's the lighter of the Mango Melodies. Then I'm going to grab my Bronze Stampin' Blend. And just down here where the liquid is, don't do the whole bottle, but just down here where the liquid is, I'm going to come in where they've already got like kind of the highlighter marks and I'm going to highlight that and same with on my glass they've already got markings in here in black so I'm going to just go over those markings with my bronze and then comes the blend part I've got a light cinnamon cider blend and I'm going to finish this card off by blending those dark and light colors together with my cinnamon cider and you can see it creates a really lovely golden look. Okay, and then we do our decanter as well. Now I do like to try and go kind of in a circular motion. I find that helps blend it a bit better. And um, I mean, you never really get streaks with Stampin' Blends. They're pretty amazing that way. Um, but it just really does help blend it and make sure you don't end up with any lines. All right, so there we go. We have beautiful golden look on there. Now, just to finish off the detailing on my decanter and my glass, I've got my light pool party, and I'm going to come in with the very fine tip, and everywhere where they've got black lines, I'm just going to go over it with my pool party pen in the same direction that they've been using and give it just that kind of glass crystally look to it okay so 
not being very careful or specific here, just kind of getting into those same areas where they've already been with their black. It's a super subtle color, so it's not like you need to worry about it looking a little off or anything. Oh, thank you, Jillian. You're actually the one who inspired me to use this set to create a Christmas card. I was looking at stuff on your site and saw you had created a Christmas card with it, and I thought, oh, how brilliant. Um, so thank you for the idea. Because, yeah, I have a lot of whiskey drinkers in my, fa in my family, so super duper important. All right, now the last kind of detail on these um, glasses is I'm going to come in with some Wink Stella. And again, just where I've done um, the highlighting in my pool party, and then just a little bit over the actual glass part where the whiskey is, I'm going to color with my Wink Stella. So if you're not familiar with Wink Stella, this is a glitter paintbrush. Um, it is one of my favorite embellishments because it's super subtle and just adds a little sparkle to everything you create. I love it. All right. So there we go. I'll just bring that up so you guys can see. Let's see if I can get the right angle so you can really see the shimmer on there. There we go. So yeah, it's got like that gorgeous shimmer on there now. Okay, so with that done, we are going to grab our stamp and cut and emboss machine, and I'm going to use a label um, from our tasteful labels to cut that out. So here we go. Pop this in here, line that up around it. There we go. And roll that through. I guess I could have cut out my decanter first, but that's okay. It doesn't hurt it to go through the machine. All right. And there we go. We have our label cut out and ready to go on our card. So I'm just going to move these pieces out of my way so I can keep stamping. All right. So next thing is to grab my snips. So I'm loving my snips. We just had um, on stage and that's kind of like a big celebration for demonstrators. And for anybody who was silver elite or above, we got this cute little gift. And so it's these, um, like a clip onto my scissors so that when I'm eventually allowed to go to a live event, I'll know my scissors from somebody else's. But then it's got this handy little piece at the bottom where I can stick the pointy end of my snips in so that it's not going to cut anything because these are super crazy sharp scissors. All right, so now using my snips, ooh, everything just went sideways. There we go. I am going to fussy cut my decanter and my glass. So this is actually pretty easy because the lines on here are fairly straight. Just a little tip is when you've got, so I come around on this curve, instead of trying to maneuver my scissors around in that space, I'm just going to come back at it from the outside into that corner and then just let the extra pieces fall off. So that's going to prevent you from getting any kind of like bent edges or whatever. It's just always cutting in towards your points. All right, so yeah, just a little scissor trick for you. So here we go. All right, so while I'm doing this fussy cutting, I'll just let you guys know about some of my upcoming events. We've got just a, ooh, just a little bit of time left to register for my Tag Buffet class. So that's a class where you're going to get one-fifth of the Tag Buffet um, kit as well as um, all the card bits to make four cards and, or four note cards rather, and then um, a little paper pumpkin box that you can decorate um, to put your note cards and tags into. So you can gift them or just have a nice way to store your note cards. And um, the cost of that class is $40. And then if you don't already own the stamp set, you can either just use your own images because it's just like ornaments and stockings and stuff like that and your own sentiments or you can add on the stamp set 
and um, I'm allowing you to add that on at my cost, meaning you're not going to pay your shipping and taxes. You're just going to pay the price that you see in the catalog. So um, you can check out my Facebook events if you want more details about that, or you can just contact me directly and we can then chat a bit more about that uh, tag buffet class. But yeah, it's going to be a fun one. The projects are really, really cute. Um, love that stamp set. So that's coming up. Um, what else do I have coming up? Well, this weekend I'm doing an online workshop in my online workshop stampers group. So you can check that out and join that group. I'll put the link into the uh, comments after I'm done this video. So if you're not already a part of that group, you can join that. So about once a month, I just do an online workshop. I showcase some cards and then anybody who places a $60 order actually gets like all the card bits you'd need to recreate the cards that I created in the um, in the video. Yeah, so there we go. All right, now I'm going to bring back in my card base. I'm going to grab some braided linen, um, braided, braided linen, braided linen trim. That's what it's called. I'm going to grab some of this and I'm going to pull off enough that I can wrap this around and a bow here. So I kind of, I don't really measure things out. I just kind of wrap them around and leave enough that I'll be able to work with the ends to be able to tie it. So holding that down. So I do tie a knot with this stuff first, even though it does make it a little bit bulky. It just means that my bow is going to lay the right way. Okay. Tie that around, and there we go. So I'm loving that Remembrance Day is a Wednesday this week. It means that tonight, on my day off, I can stay up a little bit later, continue to stamp a bit more, spend some more time with my family, because I am not going to have to get up early tomorrow morning. And um, although I do think that going to the Remembrance Day service is really important, I'm kind of excited that this year I can stay at home, maybe stay in my PJs and um, check out whatever might be happening. Um, I'm hoping that there'll be some kind of like online um, service or ceremony or something that we can view um, since we're not able to go to the Cenotaphs ourselves this year. But it'll be kind of nice to not stand out in the freezing cold um, for one year because we've done that a lot of years and um, yeah I'll feel just a little bit more relaxing this year um, but I love that it's tacked on to my regular day off so I can stay up a bit later <laughs> all right so there we go now that I've got that ribbon tied around I use some liquid glue and put that onto my card base and now the last bits are all going to go on with dimensionals and mini dimensionals. So I'm going to flip those all over and grab, let's see, I've got some regular ones here and some minis here. So I'm going to put a mini at the top of my decanter and two of them down at the bottom of my decanter. And then I'm going to put just a regular one kind of up at the top on my glass. Let's see. I need a mini one up in this top corner and a mini one down in the bottom. And for my label, we'll use two big ones. You could totally just use big ones, cut them in half, just use small ones. doesn't matter. I happen to have both, so I like to mix and match. All right, so let's start with our decanter. We're going to place this right over top of our ribbon on the right-hand side of our card. And so notice I didn't put any kind of in this middle because that's where my ribbon is going to be. So there we have our decanter and I put it up just a little bit so that when I put this glass down, I can put it down just a little bit lower. Okay. And there we go. So there's my glass and my decanter. And now I've got my label here. Let's put it on the right way. I'm going to use this label to kind of fill in that space that I left. 
there we go and then as a finishing touch on here I've actually got some wonderful gems and I'm just gonna pop two of these wonderful gems let's see do I want to use red hmm. no I'm gonna stick with the gold I'm just gonna stick two of the gold ones right here There we go. All right, so two little gold gems right there on the side. So that is my old fashioned Christmas card for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed that and enjoyed seeing kind of the technique on how I get that nice whiskey look in the bottle and the glass. And um, yeah, if you wanna join me on the weekend, I'm gonna be having that online workshop in my separate group. And otherwise I'll see you next Tuesday for um, my next Facebook Live. Have a great day.